Welcome to Heath Rouse Barbecue. Today we're cooking up competition style baby back ribs on the outlaw patio smoker. Let's get started. This recipe today is pretty special to me. We're using Prairie Fresh's new prime line of ribs and I can tell you the marbling, the intermuscular fat that it has, the thickness of this rib, it screams competition barbecue. So at the end of the day, this is what I'm gonna be cooking out in Memphis in May this year and I can't wait because this is an incredible line of ribs. So let's get started on our ribs. Now that we've got our ribs out of the pack, you always want to make sure you peel your membrane off the back. You want to be sure that you can season underneath that and get some flavor on that meat. If you leave this on here, it's fine for eating at home if you want to, but for competition, we really need to remove it. Now you can use a paper towel, you can use a butter knife, you can use whatever you want. For me, I always go on the curved end of the bone, I put on some gloves, I stick my finger, and I start going under the edge of the skin. And when you do that, you can get right up under here like this, and you can take that whole slab and just peel it off, just at one lick. Now you always might have a little bit that leaves on there you can go back and get, and that's where a paper towel, honestly, helps you a lot. Because you can just reach and grab it and it will slide off your gloves. But you can see that rib come clean pretty good on its own just by one yank. This is a simple technique, and once you master it, you can skin a case of ribs in a matter of minutes. Once we've got our baby back ribs, the membrane peeled off the back of them, I'm gonna take a little bit of mustard for a binder. You can use water, you can use olive oil, avocado oil, mayo, pretty much anything you want, apple juice, whatever. You cannot use a binder, it's completely up to you. Please make it your own recipe. Just us being from Memphis, we've always used a little bit of mustard on our ribs and uh, it makes a good binder. But like I said, it's your recipe, do as you please. You wanna get that massaged in on the bones everywhere. Now, while we've got ahead and we've got it on the back here, we wanna go ahead and take some of our hot barbecue rub and lay down a nice fine layer all on the back of that rib. Now, when I'm doing baby backs, I always wanna work my way down the bone because you wanna season the sides of the rib too. So as I come down, I'm twisting this rib with my fingers and kind of turning it up. The arch of those bones, you kind of have to tilt back sometimes to season the bottom side, but just stay with it. And see, I use my hand as a guide. You can kind of surface the rib to get it on that edge when you follow down there like that. The same way with this side when you turn it up. Just work your way down it. Remember at home, you don't have to season all those ends if you don't want to, but competition barbecue, judges are looking for one bite and that's what wins contest. So we wanna ensure that we have the maximum flavor that we can on this rib. Now that we've got it all the way kind of seasoned with the hot rub, I'm gonna come back with a thin layer of my original sweet barbecue rub. This is the first rub that I ever developed. It's got a great color. It's won me a ton of money. And you know what? I'm gonna keep using it. It's even good on Bloody Mary's popcorn. It don't matter, it's good on everything. Now, I'm patting that in a little. You can choose to let that sweat if you want to about 15 or 20 minutes. You can also come back and use a spray bottle and kind of spritz it and wet it if you want to speed up the process. Get these ribs turned over now. Repeat the process on the top side. Now that we've got our ribs seasoned good with both of our hot and our sweet rub, we're gonna let them set here sweat in for about 15 minutes before we put them on our outlaw patio grill. Remember, our outlaw's coming up to temp. We fired it up with roll oak charcoal and a piece of cherry wood, and we're gonna set it about 275 and tune her in and get these baby backs on. Be right back. We've got our Prairie Fresh ribs over here at our outlaw grill. We're running at 275 degrees. The last thing to do is get them on. So, I've got some cherry wood in here already. Man, they smell phenomenal. I lay them over here and I'm gonna kind of bunch them up as I put them in. Cause I want that rib to kind of be intact. 
Now, if we were competition, I would have trimmed them down, probably a bone off of each end and kind of squared them up on a bandsaw. But I practice at home, it's fine either way. Let's get this grill lid shut, give these ribs about an hour, and come back and check on them. All right, guys, it's just about time to wrap our competition-style ribs on our outlaw cooker. I've got a cup and a half of apple juice because I'm only cooking two slabs of ribs. So that's three quarters of a cup per slab. Now, I'm gonna do a quarter cup per slab, which would be a half a cup of my butter bath. So just get you two scoops in here with that, and that's gonna be perfect amount to wrap two slabs of ribs. Now, how simple was that versus honey, butter, brown sugar, hot sauce, getting a mess everywhere? Just want to be sure you close that down, tighten it up, hold your lid, and shake it up. It's just that simple. Now, you want to pour about half of your mixture in one slab in the wrap and half in another. It does not get any more simpler than that. All right, our ribs have been on about two and a half hours. Remember, after an hour, we started spritzing our ribs with just a little bit of water is all I used. And then I come back with a little bit of hickory wood that I have after an hour. I just throw another stick on top of that royal oak charcoal. Let's get in here and open this up. These ribs look absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Moisture's starting to pull back out of the rib. Got some nice color to it. We want to get them over here, get them wrapped up in our butter bath, and we're going to get them back on the pit. Now notice for a little trick here, I've got a sheet pan here that's empty. I'm gonna take my foil that I've got doubled up and I'm gonna put it in my sheet pan here. I'm gonna take my rack of Prairie Fresh Prime Ribs here, turn them over here, and you can see I've got a meat side down. Now you wanna give your butter bath a good shake. You can also put this in a blender and blend it up. Now I wanna pour about half of this on this rib and half on the other. You can see I can go all around, that's about half according to the measurement, maybe a little more. Now, to wrap this up, you can see it won't run off of this pan, right? So let's go ahead and get it contoured, everything, pull it tight across, back over. Now, let's wrap our other slab and get them back on our outlaw. Now, we're gonna go back on our outlaw. We're still holding it 275 degrees. I'm gonna get my ribs placed back on here in the middle of the grate here. Push them back, get my grill lid shut. I'm gonna check my fire. I believe we should be all good. I'll probably have to add one more piece of wood. I'm gonna set my alarm for one hour and check these ribs. They're gonna probably be at a good gauging point. They might have to go a little bit further, but an hour is a solid gauging point for these ribs as far as the feel had in my hand. So let's get a timer set and we'll be back. All right, our competition baby back ribs on our outlaw smoker have been on about an hour and five minutes. They're as tender as they need to be. I've already checked them with a probe. Let's get over here to the grill, get them pulled out, and let them rest so we can get them sauced up. All right, our baby back ribs have been off of our smoker about 15 minutes and rested. I'm gonna take, and you see I've got another sheet pan here. I've got a cookie cooling sheet. If you don't have that, that's okay. You can use just a sheet. I'm going to take to try not to make a mess. I'm going to move the foil over. I'm going to op gently open it up. All right. You can see how the bones have started to bust through. That's kind of a telltale sign that that rib is honestly ready to be sauced or it's done. This rib right here out of the butter bath, look at the color that it had. You remember the ribs when we first wrapped them. Now imagine when we glaze up with our sweet sauce here, what it's going to be. That's gonna be a phenomenal color. So I'm gonna turn that rib upside down because I'm gonna sauce the back of it as well. Now, here's a little tip for you guys cooking competition. All this butter bath left in here, take your little boat, pour it into a grease strainer, drain the grease off of it. That right there is great to dip that competition pork in before it goes in the box. Oh, this slab here feels tender too. Now, that color is just as good. Remember, look at that rib, it's pliable, just what we want to be, wanting to come apart. Let's turn that rib over. All right, now get that out of the way. Now, I'm gonna take and get this glove off. Leave one on, 
take and scoot over here, and I've took my sweet sauce, and I've warmed up a little bit in a disposable pan on the grill while my ribs were cooking the last 30 minutes. Now I'm just gonna get that painted on and get it ready to get back on the grill. Now that we've got our ribs glazed up with our sweet sauce, I want a little bit of pop. So I'm gonna take my sweet barbecue rub right here, we've already used on this, and I'm gonna come back with a, just a little light dusting. I don't want to do much, but just a little bit. Now, you can't go wrong with Muddy Style. You can get this rib at Memphis Barbecue Company is what they call it. A little bit of sauce and a little bit of rub on top. Melissa Cookston and Pete does a great job down there. So once I've got this sprinkled on right here, I'm gonna get it back on my outlaw for about 15 minutes just to tack that sauce up and we're gonna be ready to try these ribs. So let's slide them back on the pit. All right, our ribs are off of our outlaw smoker. Just to recap, they cook for about two and a half hours at about 275 degrees. There was a few times the pit did touch 300, uh, just getting there and checking everything. We spritzed our ribs about every hour until we wrapped. We wrapped them up in our butter bath. As you've seen, it's really easy to do. We come back, put them on for another hour. These ribs were hunting, hitting 207, 208 degrees. We took them off let them rest, sauced them up, put them back on for about 15 minutes, and pulled them off. The only thing left to do is get in here and try them. To taste these ribs today, I'm bringing in my good buddy, Kerry Chastine. Kerry, come on in. Can't wait to try these, they look so good. Kerry is part of my pro staff on Heath Riles Barbecue, and he's one of the first guys that jumped on board years ago when I wouldn't even Heath Riles Barbecue. He stuck by my side since day one, and he's a hell of a cook, and you better be looking out for him because he's on the circuit burning it up. So, Kerry, you ready to try these ribs? You betcha. Let's get in here and cut you a piece off of here. This is one meaty rib, brother. Rib. Look at the moisture in there. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to cut me one, Kerry. Knocked it out of the park. I gotta get in here and get me one. You better. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Better than good. I know that I'm wearing this and it's all over me. That's a great rib. That's probably gonna be really close to the profile I run at Memphis in May this year. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.